What's up, guys? We have a video from Cyrax today. Share if you agree. So, what is he talking about? Let's check it out. What's up, Facebook friends and family? I know I'm gonna piss a lot of people off with this because this is pertaining to the troll community. But quite frankly, I give no fucks. But if you do agree with this, share it around and let everybody know what's up. For all y'all trolls out there, I'm dead to get people mad and make them rage out for views and content and clicks, you guys are disgusting. I mean, you guys call yourselves content creators, but you're not content creators. You're a bunch of lazy dumbasses that don't have an imagination. Which is something I figured y'all would have. Considering half y'all motherfuckers are my age, if not older. I mean, what's so bad about your life that you gotta go out and fuck with somebody else? I mean, what's the point in getting someone mad? I mean, what? Are, is a social media now turning out to be like the angry German kid? But here's the difference between the angry German kid and what you guys do. The angry German kid, when he got mad, that was all an act. That was all an act that he put on. And he openly admitted that. That was all an act that he put on. But what y'all do affects people's lives. I mean... What the hell are you talking about, Cyrax? The angry German kid has nothing to do with you, and... You get mad because you just can't control your fucking emotions. It has nothing to do with people being too mean. You just can't control yourself. Come on. Sitting there, going to someone's house, following them, egging their house, fucking trying to have their car stolen, shooting at them, assaulting them, illegally and trapping them when you don't have any solid proof of them being a fucking pedophile to begin with. That's all shit that affects lives. I mean, who the fuck died and made you judge, jury, and executioner? No one's judge, jury, and executioner. You don't have to be a judge and jury to say you're a little piece of shit who's done horrible things. And all the shit you said are basically all lies. No one shot at you. No one assaulted you. No one did any of that stuff, Cyrax. Because last time I checked, y'all motherfuckers ain't content creators. You're fucking leeches. You leech on those that are creative because you yourself do not have a creative mind. And I'm sorry that you don't have a creative mind. Cyrax, you don't have a creative mind. All you've ever done is stolen beats and stolen artwork, and you've never made anything of your own. Fucking ever. But maybe if you took a step back and actually tried to figure out what it is that you're actually good at, and you think that you could potentially make a living off of it, then by all means, go for it. But if you're not a content creator like myself and you're just using people to get views and money, get the fuck off social media because you have no place on it. Cyrax, do you think this is creating content? Because this is all you've ever done was make videos whining, crying, and threatening people. It's not content. It's just you being an idiot. At all. And I'm sorry, but if you ask me, if you run around trolling someone to the point to where it affects their livelihood and it affects their mental health and their family and friends, you don't deserve to be on social media. Well, it's a damn good thing that no one will ever ask your opinion about that. 
because you're a predator who definitely shouldn't be on social media. And I'm sorry, but if you're running around and illegally entrapping someone without any solid proof that they that they're a pedophile to begin with, I'm sorry, but when you illegally entrap someone like that, you deserve to go to fucking jail for that shit. Because yeah, they might make a mistake and slip up, but you're the one that is inciting the pedophilia to begin with. I just like everyone to take in what he just said. Kate incited the pedophilia. It's not Cyrax's fault. Someone else made him be a pedophile. It's fucking bullshit, dude. Y'all motherfuckers out here running around acting like you motherfucking Chris Hansen when really you're just a bunch of money hungry, greedy ass nobodies that's too lazy to actually do shit to be creative. I mean, hell, take a look at me. I do gaming videos, I do music, and I do artwork. Hell, for a short time, I even had my own clothing line. And that shit did really well. None of that happened. You've never made a career out of doing anything. And your clothing line, I don't even know what the fuck that is, but I'm pretty sure it never did well because nothing you do ends up good. Well, I'm sorry, but if you ain't out here trying to put positivity in the world, you have no place on social media. You have no right to have a YouTube channel. If you're out here running your mouths about this person and that person, when they ain't doing nothing, you don't deserve to have a channel on YouTube. You don't deserve to have a Facebook page. I'm sorry, but if you're out here spreading negativity and you're not spreading positivity, you don't deserve to be on social media. Of course, Cyrax's definition of positivity versus negativity, uh, negativity is whether or not you're being mean to Cyrax. If you're being mean to Cyrax, well, you're just negative, no matter what he did. And if you're being positive, that means you're going to support Cyrax, no matter what he does. This world is already filled enough with negativity in this fucking world. Especially with all you fucking young-ass Gen Z little fuckheads thinking that you know better than Gen X. Bitch, we were raised on so much more shit than what you guys can imagine. Cyrax, you're not Gen X. You're as... Fuck, I think you're a millennial. You might be a Zoomer, but I think you're a millennial. But either way, you're not Gen X. And you just said that everybody was as old as you were older. And now they're fucking Zoomers? What the hell are you talking about? We didn't have seatbelts in cars. Half us rode, half us rode in the back of a truck with no fucking seatbelt. You rode without a seatbelt because Sally doesn't care about you. You were born in 1990 or 1991. They had seatbelts in cars then. Back in our day, we didn't have to have labels on shit. Because we weren't fucking stupid. Hell, we're the ones that pioneered that shit. All y'all's warning labels that you have nowadays, yeah, you can thank Gen X for that shit. Because we're the ones that did the stupid shit and lived to tell about it. We flew off our fucking bikes at 50 miles an hour. Cyrax, you didn't do any of that because you're not Gen X and you never did anything with your life. You just pretended to be an alternative guy and all this shit. You're a fucking fake loser. Yeah, we may have gotten scraped up and banged up, but bitch, we survived. My generation, we didn't have fucking iPads. We didn't have the internet. You know what our entertainment was? Outside, 
since mud, bikes, and friends in our imagination. Those were our, that was our playground. That's what we had for entertainment. Unless it was a rainy day, we were outside. We weren't allowed inside until it was fucking dark out. You weren't allowed back in the house because people hate you. They want you away from them. Not because, you know, you were too, I don't know, fucking old. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I mean, y'all motherfuckers got it easy. For real. I mean, y'all think that we have it easy? Shit. We had it harder than you. We had it way harder than you. Y'all got that shit made, bro. Back then, we had to go to the library if we wanted to look something up. Yeah, y'all's favorite cartoons nowadays that y'all Gen Z kids watch? Yeah, you can thank Gen X for that. What? Like, what? The fuck are you talking about, Cyrax? Back in our day, if we were crying over something that our parents told us know about, we didn't get the whole, oh, if you don't stop crying, I'm going to take this way. No. Back in my day, if we were crying in a store or a mall or whatever because we didn't get what we wanted, our parents straight out told us, you better stop crying or I'm going to give you something to cry about. Yes, we know there's a long history of abuse in your family and they're not above hitting each other. It's still not a good way to raise a child. And guess what? We shut up really fucking fast. And as for y'all motherfuckers out there that are my age or older, man, y'all must have had a bad childhood. I mean, what the fuck made y'all the way that you are to make you want to fuck with somebody the way that you guys do? I mean, is your guys' lives really that fucking bad that you gotta go around and fuck with somebody else? I mean, if that's the case, I mean, y'all might want to take counseling or some shit. For real. Y'all might want to get some fucking counseling for that shit. Hey, Cyrax, you might want to get counseling for the fact that you constantly make these videos raging out into no one in particular. You know, it's you, you got some fucking problems, and that's why you do this bullshit. But like I said in the beginning of this fucking video, for all y'all motherfuckers out there fucking with somebody else just to get clicks and views, get the fuck off social media because you don't have any place here at all. So all y'all lazy motherfuckers out there that are using people to get views, fuck you, you're fake as fuck. You ain't no content creator. You're a lazy leech. Get the step in. Lazy leech motherfuckers. Well, that's just just wonderful, Cyrax. You know, uh, you're you're not a leech at all. You're creating so much content and bringing in so much money for Sally. So, you know, good job. Everybody share this if you agree that, I don't know. What the fuck ever. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Or day. Whatever.